Yo, check this out. Now, I've got four girls left. Let me tell you something. It's gonna be real hard for me right now because I got to really connect with each one of these girls. You know what I'm saying? I would have to say that this is a triumphant period for me. There were 20 of us. Now there's only four, including Pumpkin. Um, do I like Pumpkin? No. Do I respect Pumpkin? No. Does Pumpkin still need a facelift? Um, yes. Poor Hoops. Frankly, I think she's an undercover lesbian. She's an idiot, she's a liar, and I can't wait till she goes home. Goldie, she seems a plus-size, loud woman. You know, I'd go as far as to say I slightly acknowledge Goldie. I know that I have the upper hand throughout the house because I'm definitely in the lead with Flav. You know, he's mine. So check this out. Me, I was born a traveling man. The only way that you really gonna know how somebody is and how true their colors is, you travel with them. Take them out on a trip. See what it's gonna be like. So today, we getting ready to turn this bad boy up a notch. Good morning, morning. Well, you guys know why I'm here. Staying in this house is driving your boy Flav crazy. So Hoops and Pumpkin, pack an overnight bag because you're joining me at a romantical getaway in Palm Springs where we can relax. Who and who? Just y'all two? Don't worry, New York and Goldie. <sighs> I'll see you the next day in San Diego where we'll have a booming overnight adventure. Get packing, y'all. Love, Flav. So the first two that I take with me out of town is Hoops and Pumpkin. So, um, you guys are going first, basically. Yes. I didn't like the fact that he picked Pumpkin and Hoops to go on first. So that hurt me. <sighs> pumpkin and Hoops. <laughs> crazy. They're both sluts. I can both totally see them trying to sleep with my man. Fall, 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 fall. Give me something to laugh at, fall. I was a little bit disappointed because I wanted all four of us to do something together. You know, I really didn't want to get separated from Hoops and Pumpkin. Child babies. We kind of made a pact to make it just be the best time ever. You both just know how to have fun, you know, and we're both like down for whatever. Her more than me. <laughs> I got hoops and I got pumpkin. I want to try to get some individual one on one time with each one of them. I've never been to a resort. No, or a spa. No, I've never been to a spa or a resort. I've never been. Where do we end up at? Great old Palm Springs, California. Welcome to Palm Springs. Hey, thank you. Can I get some? Can I get some? Can, I, can your man get some love? <laughs> <laughs> Let me take y'all to your rooms right about now, you know what I'm saying? I gotta kick keys, nothing, nothing, all that. I got y'all set up, I got okay, y'all set okay, up. Okay. The only negative thing about going with Hoops is I felt like he was way more excited to see Hoops than he was me. I knew that I had to step up the affection times 10 and just see how it plays out and what happens. I'll act your man. <gasps> I'll let you, man. I'll let you, boy. There was a competition, like her pumpkin kissing him, and okay, no, I gotta kiss him. Thank you. Why am I so lucky? Why? Woo hoo! This is called paradise. Ain't it nice? <laughs> <laughs> so Flav escorts me and Pumpkin to our room. <laughs> And there were flowers and robes and food and drinks and everything. It was crazy. Look at I thought, oh a TV! A TV! It was it was it was beautiful. I hope we're supposed to open it up. 
Welcome to Palm Springs, ladies. There was a little note from Flav. Give me on the lawn for yoga. I was thinking, oh, I've never done yoga, but I figured if Flav could do yoga, then I could do yoga. <laughs> what is yoga? When I heard yoga, I got a vision of these big, like, incense just brewing. And you, like, sit, like, with your legs crossed like this the whole time. That was it. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? What's Good. your name? My name is Byron. Byron? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Byron. My nice name is Flavor. Hi, Flavor. Took him out onto the grass, had to exercise that ass. Yeah, we had yoga going on, folks. So let's just start by coming up to all fours. We're gonna work into something here called downward dog. Okay? <laughs> you probably all have a dog, right? You see the stretch. <laughs> I want you just to kick oh. your legs up and hold just in this position. Breathe. Now let's roll back. Stay there. <laughs> Keep pushing. This girl can take it. Flav was totally like leaning towards hoops, and I didn't want to feel like I wasn't getting attention, so I had to like at least remind him that I was there. Now, can you feel oh. that stretch? I Push can feel hand. something. Come on, Aldi. All right. Oh my God. Pumpkin ups everything because I'm not about to initiate, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. See, she wanna, wanna she oh, me to pull yeah. up her torso. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Give me a hug, man. Thank you, bro. Oh Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Yo, I like that, Rick. Oh, that's hot. This is my resort look. That's that's hot. So Rick, what's poppin'? I'm ready to escort you guys to a beautiful cabana. Yeah. Follow me this way, please. So, as we were walking over the grass, I said, ladies. Let's take a dip in the pool. Cause there's no lifeguard. That means we ain't got no babysitters. Open pool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your man is up in here now, boy. <laughs> had pumpkin over here. I had hoops over here. Had ass in both hands. I'm a lucky man right now. Woo, flavor, flame. What a fuck they sweet. Woo. <laughs> when Hoops would do anything, like turn her head, I would always take that opportunity to move in and kiss them. Pumpkin is really open with her sexuality. She don't care about walking around naked. She will flash somebody. I mean, I know this is a competition, but I don't know what the hell I would have to do. Hey, yo, let me tell you something. I know this could go either way. But it's hard when you're in the middle and you got equal love, equal value, you know? Yeah, we know, but whatever makes you happy, we're cool with it. We hope it's one of us, you know what I'm saying? But if it ain't, then that's what it is. I'm a very strong person. If I want something bad enough, like I'll do everything I can to get it. I'm gonna get Flav in the end, and that's the only thing I'm here for. We love you, Flav. I love y'all too, Hoops and Pumpkin. Me too. Everywhere I go, set up nice. You know what I'm saying? For my girls, my girls. The next thing that I got set up for us was called the SPA, the spa. Oh, snap. <laughs> it is a fabulous experience to have you here. All three of you are going to be having a great experience in our Mediterranean spa, The Well. We're going to take you back and start your experience. Well, can I just say one thing? What? All is swell at the well. Oh, that's good. I like, I like that. that. I know, I know. Okay, we have what is called Pittura Festa, which means painting party in Italian. What it entails is for you to take these palette of muds of different colors. This is more about all three of you having fun, painting each other, letting the brush go wild. Certainly have fun here, okay? That's the purpose. Okay. okay. Enjoy. Next thing you know, throw the paint brushes down, everybody's grabbing mud, putting it all over each other. Your man Flea had the flyest mud bath in the world. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 
I pulled the string on Hoops' top because I wanted to see her freak out. <laughs> that was stupid. But the reason that she kept it off was because she knew that she needed to. I think she felt like sexually threatened. I haven't been throwing myself at him and that could be a problem. So I'm gonna try to come to him a little bit more and really let him know how I'm feeling. Then oh, uh, we'll tell you all about the best part. Showering off the mud. <laughs> When the mud started coming off their skin, what I seen, I said, boy, am I in. Ha! <laughs> Woo! Luckiest man in the world, Flavor Flav! I did have strategies basically at every point. You know, she was in the back of him, like washing off his back, so I got in front of him because if I get in front of him and start kissing him, he's not gonna give a shit about what's coming off his back. <laughs> Flavor Flav! <laughs> Everything going. Hey, everything is going real fine, Miss. Okay, well, I just have to keep you on a time schedule. I ain't trying to leave right now. Right. Next thing that you want to do is there's some towels over here. You start to towel yourself off, and then there's some dry oil over here, and you're going to spray each other and apply that oil really nicely, and then we're going to start your next treatment, okay? Okay. Are y'all ready? Oh, my goodness. I don't want to do that. Okay. 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 We've gotten not very far. That's it. Okay. <laughs> we got the message, lady. Next thing you know, we done. I know one thing. I had a nice day with y'all so far. Okay. <laughs> 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 you don't even fit in it. Ready to escort you guys to your room to get ready for dinner. Come on, let's get out of here. I knew that I had a lot to tell Flav, so I took that time to write him a letter. I just wanted Flav to know I'm not here just to make out with him, that I want to get to know him. Yo, your man Flav, elegance is back once again. So I got there before the girls, everything. Champagne, flowers. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. What's up? How y'all doing? Good. Flav loves elegance. He loves to have the best time he could possibly have. He doesn't care about spending. It's whatever with him. This is a toast to us having a good time. Right here in paradise. Yes, sir. All right. Hi. All right. Hi. And I'll drink to that. <laughs> I always have a hard time understanding Flav. Even though I'm from the east, but I'm mad chilling on the west. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> the terminology or the, you know, not being prejudiced, but the black lingo, like where they're from, the slang terms, you know, I kind of have a hard time following it. So he'll say some and hoops or whoever will be just cracking up, and I'm sitting back here like, huh. Oh. Check this out, right? Flavor Flav has a way of talking. I ain't mad at you, that phrase came from Flav. Word up, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I lost my train of thought right now. We used to do a dance back in the days. The bump. Yeah. You know, the bump, right? Because now you died, right? Then you got buried. You're turning into skeletons. Nah, me. I know exactly what he's talking about. That's why I'm like, yo, Flav, keep going. You know what I'm saying? What, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, pumpkin, a little confused, you know? I have to go back. I'll be back. OK. Um. I have a question to ask you. Ask me. Is your mind pretty much made up, or do I stand a chance? You stand I'm a trying very, to give you everything that I can give you. stand a very, very big chance. I wrote you something, and if you just want to hold on to it and read it after dinner, or if you want to read it now, you can read it now. I just wanted to give it to you in private. Pumpkin slips me a note, and this note was about her wanting to be with me alone. Gotcha. Well, guess what? What? A little small surprise for you, but I'm not going to tell you right this second. 
like you. You got a heart. You got mad heart. And I love you for your heart. You know what? What? I never want to date with you. Let me take you back to my room for nightcap. I'm going to say goodbye to you right now. Okay. Okay? Uh-huh. Ah. Huh? Don't you move. I'm not excusing you. Oh, huh? I'm not excusing you. <laughs> okay. I'm excusing us. And I will see you at the elimination ceremony. Okay. See you later, Hoops. Bye, Hoops. Ciao. I was just awkward. I hate being by myself, but now I'm like by myself looking dumb. I told Hoops I was taking pumpkin for the one-on-one. -on -one. She was like, whoa. But I wanted to have some alone time with pumpkin. The whole situation was awkward. I'm sitting there by myself. Lord knows what they probably did or we're going to do. I mean, like, if that's what eliminations are based on, who's I mean, ooh, who's having sex with them and who isn't, and then, damn, I'm going home. I want you to go slip in a little something more comfortable. I knew that it would help my chances in a way, and I definitely wanted to take advantage of it. Hello. Hey, sweetie. Opened up the door. She was looking Fan fabulous. You know what I'm saying? Word up, man. You're going to put this <laughs> right there. This was the spot, Rick. Your man, Flavor Flay, had a very lovely day yesterday in Palm Springs. Ooh, your man, your man with the mud bath. The mud bath. I am one of the luckiest human beings in the world, ladies and gentlemen. OK, now it's about time for me to exit the spot. You're on the road, sir. So day number two, I sent pumpkin and hoops back to the mansion, and I met up with New York and Goldie down in old San Diego. Here I am, first of all, at this animal farm waiting for my girls. Hi! <laughs> How Morning. you doing? <laughs> Morning, give it to me. Missed you. <laughs> Missed you, baby. Good. New York. I was kind of concerned about being paired up with New York because I just felt like she would probably like take over. How you doing, Miss Miss Um Conservative? <laughs> I'm good. So yeah, I kinda like just figured, yeah, at some point whenever I choose to, I step my game up. I know what time is with you. <laughs> I'm very territorial. If anything is worth anything, or you feel that something is a positive force in your life, why would you want to share? You know, um, Flav is mine. You know, that's how I see him. Got two of the baddest women in the land right about now. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the 1800 acre San Diego Zoo's Wild Animal Park. How you doing? My name Great. is Flavor. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Laura. I'm going to be Laura. your tour guide today. Oh, Are you ready for a good time? I'm ready. Yes. I'm All right, ready. let's go. Let's rock okay. the house, Strong. Laura. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bird. So, went down, got in this truck. It took us on to this habitatual land. Feeding big elephant. pigs and cows. Hey, you see the elephant? Ah, 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 ah. So we're going to move on up ahead, and we're going to see the giraffe, and we're going to see rhinoceros. Oh, oh, How cute. Pretty cool, man. But look at these rhinos up here. We've got a great view. I will go over here and feed those guys over there. So just like this, you're going to hold your apples out. The rhinos eat like I do. You know, their mouth goes around and around. That's how I be eating. Word up, man. A lot of cultures believe that rhino horn is some kind of aphrodisiac. Oh, word? 
oh. males in the animal kingdom, they have a lot to prove, so they need to advertise, they need to show off. This lady told me as we was going out there, she said, yo, the reason why some of these animals have long horns is because the longer the horns, the better their sex life. And boy, I wear the horns. Are you having a good time? I am. <laughs> this big ass hat on. <laughs> this is a competition, and I definitely feel like that I am very capable of stealing the spotlight, you know, from New York. <laughs> you know, I must say that uh, it's gonna go my way because Flav is someone that is just beautiful to me. I'm going to just make him feel like the king he is. See y'all later. So, uh, after we finish feeding the rhinos, it's time to eat. Oh, <laughs> What's my up? Goodness. Yeah. So, we get back to the world's famous W Hotel. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Hey, ladies. Yeah, babe. Listen, we want to see y'all later. Okay. Okay? All right. It's Goldie. So, I told the girls, check this out. I got a nice dinner set up for us. I want y'all to go to y'all rooms. Get ready. Oh, oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Oh, my God. When I first walked in the room, I was just blown away. <laughs> just the total ambiance of it all. It just embodied just true romance, like a girl couldn't ask for anything more. It made me think like, oh my goodness, I can be living this way, you know? If I'm not the last one standing, it's almost like I'm never gonna date again. <sighs> Are you with me on this? I'm feeling you on the day. Yes. Beautiful. I was really excited about the date. I wasn't really concerned about, you know, how New York was gonna look, I mean, I'm sure she was gonna look nice, but then I knew that I was gonna look really nice too. You look great. Thank you, so do you. you I'm glad you wore fabulous. that dress instead of the, um, the other one was a little whatever, whenever. I have nothing against plus size women, but you know, when I'm next to Goldie, there is, you know, a, a difference. It's obvious, you know. She's a cute girl, you know, cute, next to gorgeous. Gorgeous is gonna, you know, devour cute. So um, in the looks department, I definitely, you know, I've scored too high for her to catch up. New York. Hey. Goldie. <laughs> What's up, baby? Woo. <laughs> to you, New York. Thank you very much. Thank oh, you, you look lovely, baby. Thank you, all for you. Goldie comes up to me, starts kissing me. I'm like, whoa, Goldie, where have you been? I'm definitely angry. Goldie, she lands a big, huge kiss on him, and you know, that just blew him away. I don't know whether it was her strategy or not. Let the festivities begin. Okay. But look at this view around us, man. This is beautiful, man. It really is. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. nice. It's real nice. I'm loving you, chocolate drops. Well, I need somebody to feed me. Okay. And you look like you will be the one to really feed your man. And I definitely want to feed you. Hey. <laughs> Say it again like that, I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> you heard? Man, listen, feed your boy. <laughs> Would you like some shrimp? Mashed potatoes. It looks good, doesn't it? 
Oh, boy, I'm being shocked by my girl Goldie tonight. <laughs> Man. I think the date was going in my favor. <laughs> Lord, what took you so long bringing this girl around me? <laughs> Why? Why you took so long? I didn't like it, you know. It hurt that he was paying a lot of attention to Goldie, but I think... I handled myself well because I see myself pouring the champagne all over the table and leaving. I mean, I was just like a millisecond from doing it. Yo, Goldie, I want to know what you would really do if you had time alone with me. I can show you much better than I can tell you. Let's let the festivities begin. What's up? Can I uh, spend some long time with you right now? Okay. <laughs> Flavor, flay. New York. Yes. You know how it is, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna um, see you tomorrow night. Okay. Our elimination ceremony. <laughs> okay. Okay? Good luck. When I left with Goldie, it did not make New York feel good at all. New York, I can smell the heat coming out of the top of her head. Mm -hmm. See you later, okay? Okay. Baldy, mm -hmm. would you be kind <laughs> to take the hand of your man? <laughs> of your man? Yeah. How you knew I was going to say that? Because I know you are. Huh? <laughs> that whore knew exactly what she was doing. When she knew I looked great, she knew she had to pull out all her stops. She, you know, basically dominated the date because, ooh, she finally kissed him tonight. Sit back. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Goldie. What's up? Thank you for coming around. Well, I mean, I figured it was about time. <laughs> Honestly, can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew you was getting a little restless. For you, hell yeah. It's been taking you so damn long, Goldie. What the hell? I'm the girl that gets her man, and that's it. I, I can't share him. It's not your body, your great ass, your nice and all of that. Mm hmm No. I'm not going to share my man with another woman. A big girl at that, you know what I'm saying? That whore knew exactly what she was doing. She knew. She knew. The thing I love about you... What's that? You are a lot of country ass fun. <laughs> country bumpkin with a white gravy biscuits. That's all he cares about. I'm serious, man. I mean, he tells me, me, New York, that he's gonna see me tomorrow at elimination. Well, I don't. I don't, I don't know if I'm going home tomorrow. That hurts me because I, I truly do love him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flavor Flame! Give me some love, dog. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Awesome, brother. You sleep good? Yeah, man. I slept kind of good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's time for me to go back to the mansion, man. Go to the mansion, sir. Car, man. You got it, sir. Let's go, man. We out. Tonight, I got another elimination ceremony going on. And boy, I got four girls left and three clocks. Kinda hard on your man right now tonight, you know, to make this decision because I got to spend time with each one of these girls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> New York girl. She's gonna come here, she's gonna go straight to her room. Goldie will come in here and tell us everything, and that bitch won't. She'll go down and get some food, go to her room and eat, and won't talk to any of us till elimination. The only reason I could even see anybody wanting to keep her ass around is because, like, she, like, acts, acts. Like, she likes him so much. I just wants to hit it. Gross, <laughs> she's <laughs> I was kind of shocked last night because Goldie ended up stepping up to the plate. You seen that, Rick? 
I'm listening, dog. She came up and kissed your man, Rick, in the mouth. So you're right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Big Rick? <laughs> they trying to stay clean with your man. You know what I'm saying, Pumpkin? I like Pumpkin because she's wild. She likes to just hang out and kick it. Oops. Nice, pretty body Torio to factor. Mainly when she got on a dress and some heels. Oh my God. You see, one thing about New York, she doesn't like her territory invaded. When it comes down to her man Flav, <laughs> this is my man. She don't want no other woman around me. That jealousy that New York got, she's trying to drive everybody off to keep me for herself. I would have to say that this is the first time I ever looked at myself as um, a candidate for elimination. Goldie? The girls that are in the house now, they um, feed off of the friendship thing. They don't know how to stand alone. I knew from the beginning in this competition that it was very important for me to stand alone always because that shows Flay that he has a solid woman in the house. He does appreciate that. I'm not here for them. So here I am now, I'm in the position, and I'm in the shoes of hurting people's feelings, but not on purpose, because yes, we do know that this is a contest, but still in all, it's still kind of hard for me. It's not kind of hard for me, it's hard for me, period. One of us was gonna go home. Hopefully, New York. There's a 75% chance that we will not all be together for Damn, that's a big chance. I think my one-on-one -on -one time with Flav may have given me an advantage. You know, I hope he sees the quality of woman that he has in Goldie. I am feeling a little scared about elimination. <laughs> Once again, I'm back at square one, feeling nervous. There's a lot of tension around the house. I haven't spoken to any of the girls really today. I really don't have anything to say to them at this point. My thoughts are just Flav. Flav, Flav, Flav. You know, Flav and I. You guys. Yeah, I'm lucky. Yo, pull that curtain, Rick. Pull a curtain, pull a curtain. Yes, sir. Now look, I had a nice time with these two right here. Oh my God, Rick. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> Rick. Rick. It gets back down to these two right here. I can get with this, I can get with that. I got a sick in my stomach. <laughs> I can get with this, because this is where it's at. Come on, Rick, let's go do this, man. Smile, sir. I was definitely disappointed with Flav. I felt hurt because he spent the whole night with Goldie. Tonight, I want New York to leave because I don't think it'll be good if she stays. Good evening, ladies. I must say, all four, y'all is banging, banging. What's up, Hoops? What's up, man? How you doing? Nervous as hell. I don't want to be the one sent home. I don't know what's going through Flav's head. He said he's had such a great time with Pumpkin, so it's so up in the air right now. My girl, Goldie. <laughs> That's good. I think my one-on-one -on -one time with Flav may have given me an advantage because me and Flav connected in a real way, but there's no telling who might go and who might stay. How you doing, New York? I'm doing, I'm doing all right. If I don't get a clock 
tonight. I'm gonna tell Flav that I love him because I do, but I also will let him know that he needs to make a call and get 20 more women in and do it all over again because he's not gonna find what he needs in the three remaining women. What's up, Pumpkin? Well, us three are fine. She really doesn't make conversation with us. I stay focused. That was my approach as soon as I came in the house. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. You asked if we oh, were yeah, getting along, and I real. answered the question. There are so many like obvious signs why New York is not the right one for Flav. She's the worst match for him, and so hopefully he'll see that. We all adults in here. We all should be able to get along. Pumpkin's calling me out. For her to bring that up just shows how petty and childish and immature she is, how easy she is to basically crunch. You know, I'm crunching her. One of y'all. Right about now, let's get ready to get a clock from your man. <laughs> For real, got four bodies right now. Three clocks. First person that's gonna get a clock from your man, Flavor Flav, tonight. Let's hand this clock over to my girl, Pumpkin. <laughs> It just seems like she's just there to make out with him and see how far she can go. You know what time it is. Thank you. Two clocks left. Three bodies. Next clock. Oops. She's obviously a very, very beautiful woman, but when she opens up her mouth, you know, it's like dirt. You know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the last clock, I was kind of antsy, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen. But I figured Flay would make the best decision for him. New York, you've been a very, very good spokeswoman for yourself. I ain't going to lie. You've been working your thing, G. Goldie, the friendly ghost, kind of shocked me last night. When you gave me that kiss, it was a beautiful kiss. That's why I kept you around, Goldie, because you're fun. You're mad fun. Can't just help her love you like that, you know what I'm saying? But I just want more just friendship. I'm gonna give this clock to New York. Honestly, to tell you the truth, New York is looking for a richer lifestyle. New York is a gold digger just like Hottie, you ask me. You know what I'm saying? She's just well disguised. New York knows exactly how I feel about her. She knows that I don't like her. She knows that I think that she's rude, and she knows that I think she's a bitch. When you gave me that kiss of that you was really unsure of. You don't think so? Nah. Your feelings are really mixed. Like you said to me last night, Clay, you know, all I want to do is get to know you and just be your friend. Any man that gets you, Goldie, is a lucky man. So Flav probably felt like he couldn't get close to her and really feel out who she really is, besides this big, huge joker. I've got to move the clock. Time is in between us. Mm -hmm. I love you, Goldie. I love you too, Flav. It kind of stings a little to have to leave, but things happen when it's time for them to happen. This ain't the last. You'll hear from me again. <laughs> I better. Down in San Diego, I gave Goldie a chance, and, and she told me that all she wanted to really do was just be my friend and get to know me. Yeah, she wasn't touchy-feely no more. I'm like, whoa, you don't force something where it doesn't fit. You know, we may not have connected so much romantically. I did put my best foot forward, so I gave it what Goldie can give it. That's what I gave me. <laughs> this. It's for my girl, Goldie, that just left us. She's a lot of fun, y'all. I'm gonna miss her being around here. It's definitely tough leaving behind Pumpkin and Hoops. And my heart goes out for New York, because I know they not gonna talk to her. Pumpkin and Hoops, they should definitely beware of NY, New York, because that man upstairs, I love admire and already cherish. And I am not gonna leave his side. Bow out gracefully, or if you don't wanna bow out gracefully, I'll take your head on. All right, Flay, maybe you, you can go. do this one. Check this out, okay? So, all right, just like that. 
I'm gonna reach to her foot. See, I can't do that, man. Something tells me I better just watch. Chill out. Yeah. That Come is. on up. And then, oh, it's a major stretch. Dark. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's the position right there. I like that. <laughs>